it's time for another week of thrifting. So let's go thrifting. I'm going to go to the Goodwill that I went to first last week and hope that the streak continues because this one's normally bad. I'm hoping that today it's going to be good. Let's check it out. There's a Peter Rabbit, an Eeyore, a Pooh. It's only three dollars. Okay, this is awesome. It's a Mecha Godzilla for three bucks. Tie Fighter. The rest of the stuff is new, but I want that Mecha Godzilla. So. The Ninja Turtle behind it. So far, so good. Some beanie babies. Some more beanie babies. Good start. There's the little tykes car from back in the day. That's pretty cool. Something about this old cooler makes me want it, but it's 20 bucks, which is too much for me. But check out this giant box. That is massive. Poor guy. So I'm just checking the books real quick. Some John Grisham there. Nothing really I want. Looking for the king. Not looking like it's here. Pokemon manga. Those are pretty cool. How much are they? Two twenty nine. That's a maybe. Dork Diaries. This looks like an old stuffed animal. Plush Mania. It's like a mouse or an elephant. I don't know what it is. There's no date on it. <gasps> oh my God. There's a Teddy Ruxpin here for $3.49. Are you kidding me? So I just about dropped my phone because I found an original Teddy Ruxpin at the thrift store for $3.49. He's got some dust in his hair but it looks like he actually, he works. Did you just see that? So that was like the find of the uh, week, probably right there, Teddy, along with that stuff, but Teddy's a real find. I like this, does it work? I'm still speechless about that, it's crazy. I need to collect myself. The floppy disk holders. That's awesome. These are neat. Disney cups. So that Goodwill ended up being really, really good. That Teddy Ruxman is one of the finds of the year for me. I haven't seen one of these in the wild in probably 10 years. And the fact that he has a tape in him and works, such a good find. So time for stop number two of this week's thrift adventures. I'm at the really good value village today. I ended up in this neck of the woods and I thought I'll check it out. So let's go in and see if they have some goodies. Some board games. What do we have here? Stuff. I'm going to check out the electronic section. I see something. Dun, dun, dun. So I found it. It's uh, Fisher Price Castle. The paper on the side is all waterlogged though. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get it, but for only $3.99, it's still a really good deal. But they might have the dragon here. There's the elevator center too. It's really beat up, missing the gas. And it's, they're both only 
So they're really good if somebody wants to come grab them. And the other really, really cool thing, the vintage Fisher, mm, sorry, vintage Little Tykes table and chair set. It's only $7.99 for everything, which is a really good find. Some more stuffed animals. Baby Yoda. That's a good one. That one's really good. Nothing really jumping out at me that I want to get yet, though. So we'll keep looking. So we keep looking, heading to the toy bags. Hopefully there'll be some good stuff here. They look like they're pretty stocked. So that should be okay. So I kind of had a feeling there might be some Fisher Price Little People stuff here. So that's not bad for $4.99. And then over here, some more for $3.99. Some more for five, four ninety nine, five bucks. There's gotta be more. Where's the figures? That's not them. They've gotta be here. Maybe they're in the display case at the front. What is this right here? Mission Command C game. It's kind of neat, it's like Battleship. Fisher Price. What is that? Okay, so far so good. Not really much, but some cool vintage stuff. There's an old etch a sketch. So pretty good so far. I've been looking for a Tiger Electronics game for so long. I'm hoping that I finally find one at some point in these travels. That's what I'm looking for. One that's not $250. Oh my, look at that right there. How much is it? I wanna see it. I'm gonna have to even take a look at it. So there's a lot of tapes here, but not a lot of good ones. I saw this many, I was excited. This is cool. It's the Wizard of Oz. Whoa. So this is cool. It's the Wizard of Oz 50th anniversary VHS. And it comes with like a little booklet with all kinds of photos. It's only $1.99, so I think I'm gonna get it. And then there's this one. Animated Lord of the Rings Return of the King. I know I'm gonna get that. So there's been lots of vintage stuff in here today, but a lot of like crummy shape vintage stuff, which is unfortunate. I would have bought it all. That Game Boy, the sound didn't work, so it's a no-go for $70. That's pretty cool right there. It's an old wooden ball nose, like it's real wood. It even has lights in it. Does it work? Someone must have made this. It's really neat. It's kind of fun, huh? What's down here in this little box? Looks like Peppa Pig stuff. Nothing else for me. So that was okay. I didn't get the uh, Fisher Price Castle or the Little Tykes Table or the Game Boy. They were all like in beat up shape. So it's a bummer. Um, I probably should have got the Game Boy, but I didn't want to spend $70 on something that wasn't working. Uh, but I did get two bags of Little People accessories and two good VHSs. So not a total loss. All right, time for another stop in this week's thrifting. I'm going to the Value Village near my house. Uh, last couple times I've been here, it's been pretty good. So hoping that today it's gonna be just as good. That's a dirty bugs right there. That is a dirty, dirty bugs. Oh, there's a Garfield. And an Odie. Maybe. I would like to find more before I, I'm not gonna just buy the two. Oh, did you see that? Who's this? I have no idea. That's kind of neat. Okay. Is this actually in there or a little I see something I want right there. 
think I'm gonna have to rescue all these Dalmatians right here. I found one of these old coolie cups and an alien Disney on Ice cup. So this is a good find. It's the double VHS set, 501 American Tail. I'm gonna get it. We just found the holy grail of Warner Brothers Looney Tunes keychains. There's they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's like so many. I'm gonna have to get them all, I think. Just found this. It's a Bugs Life McDonald's magnifying glass, like watch thing. So that was pretty good. Found a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, we also went to the Once Upon a Child near that value village and found a Lone Ranger and Tonto, or Lone Ranger and his horse figure and one of these wooden snakes from back in the day that pinch your fingers. So I'll do a better uh, review of that at the end, but some good finds today. It's time for another stop in the thrift week. Uh, I'm going back to the original Goodwill that I found the Teddy Ruxpin at because I feel like there might be more good stuff there. When you find something like a Teddy Ruxpin, sometimes that comes from somebody like that had a collection that donated it. So I'm gonna go check and see maybe if one, the tapes are there or the books are there to go along with the Teddy Ruxpin that I found. So I'm just finding all kinds of good stuff today. I found this Monster High brand new doll set right here. This flipping Frogs game, which has the pieces in it. The Fortnite Nerf thing. And this thing, Mrs. Goodby Interactive Dollhouse. It's gonna need to be repaired a little bit, but it's only $3.49, so I'm definitely gonna get it. Okay, so that wasn't bad. I didn't find any of the Teddy Ruxpin tapes or anything really crazy vintage, but I did find that dollhouse, which is from 2007. It's uh, learning toys, but it's worth about a hundred bucks in the condition it's in, and I paid $3 for it. I also was able to grab the uh, Monster Monsters in, or Monsters High uh, Lego set, which it's unopened, so there could be value there, and it was only four bucks for that box. And the uh, Nerf uh, Fortnite thing. So I got to find out how much that's worth. So it's been pretty good today. So I'm just heading into my next stop on the thrift adventures this week. I'm going to the community thrift store. I don't know if there's going to be much there today. Um, last week was pretty good. So let's check it out. Dolphin collection. There's not much here today. For me, anyway. I do like that. Check the Christmas hair. So Community Thrift didn't really have anything. I'm gonna go to another Value Village and then probably to that consignment shop uh, and check out what they have if the Value Village strikes out, so. So there is some good Stephen King books here. This Gunslinger coffee is awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. This is a newer version of The Dead Zone. Still pretty cool. I'm definitely getting this though. Looks like somebody donated all the Dark Tower books. Rose Matter. Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Cool. here today. Cool. Yeah. Not 
something I really, really want. Might be some here though. <clears throat> I think this is uh, a Stephen King movie, but it's not. But, but it sings! So I got two things. What? What? So far. This looks interesting. I don't know much about John Saul, but the God Project sounds really cool. Hmm. God, look at this. That is amazing for $14.99. I don't think it works though. It looks like it's in really good shape. 55 bucks new. It's actually crazy cool. Precious moments. What is this? An Eminem phone. It's kind of neat. I must need a plug or something. That's so cool. I love that thing there. Love to find a good old board game. I haven't found one in a while. I played four copies of this one at home. Good, uh, and Getty's used to have this Anything else good in here? Minnie Mouse. The dog from Secret Little Pets. There's an Alvin. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that's old. Ten dollars. No thanks. This is an old Fisher Price toy. Not bad for three ninety nine. I'm gonna get it. That's an old Viewmaster too. What should I want for it? Not too bad. Looks like not a ton. That's pretty cool. That's not a bad deal. Four ninety nine. Look at all these. There's like a million of them here. It's kind of neat. <clears throat> Literally like a hundred of them. Yeah. 
Some Mario Galaxies here, that's not bad. I don't know, there's not much. Look what's hiding here, another old school flashlight. Okay, so I did grab some cool stuff. I got a couple WWF belts, um, that vintage flashlight, which is pretty awesome. Those are very, very high demand. They always sell. And a few other cool things. So not a total loss. Now I'm heading over to the uh, consignment store um, that I've been to a couple times. So I think I've only shot one video there, but they have tons of cool stuff. So this should be uh, pretty fun. Okay, so I'm at the consignment shop. I'm going to head in now. I'm gonna shoot a ton of video in here because there's literally so much nostalgia here. I can't wait to look at it. These are awesome. Look at all the Smurfs. Those are so cool. That's a big Barbie. Prime. Hmm. Ooh, decoys. Those are so cool. Digimon. Barrel of monkeys. That's awesome. radio oh my god that's amazing some cool stuff down here oh my god nightmare fuel what's in here lego uh, probably more lego i'm assuming Not off lego So many games. What's this? Nosy Neighbor. That seems like kind of a fun game. I don't know. Like this is like the board game. Cash. I'm looking for like a really cool old board game though. I have that one. It's manga. Oh, I see a little Kermit down here hiding. Kermit and Miss Piggy. Those are awesome. This is an interesting back area right here. There's all kinds of cool books. That's an amazing book. Fun story, that's what Game of Thrones is meant. I was back on, sorry, is uh, based on. There's some good old books here. Wow. Seriously, there's just like amazing. Sometimes in these ones like back here, you can really find some cool stuff. You just gotta look. So there's a ton of cool stuff in here. I like this Marilyn Monroe. It's a Christmas ornament. It's only 10 bucks. That's pretty cool. And then there's this. And a ton of cool stuff back here. It's like actually amazing. Some serious albums. What's this back here? I should probably stuff. And it looks like, oh, there's two more. Oh, there's three. So there's some more Looney Tunes stuff. These ones are brand new. So those are 10, 15. That one's probably 15 too. So I can get them cheaper at the other one. So far, so good. There's some cool stuff here today. 
This is one of my favorite shelves. One, because it has those guys in it. There's some Mego action figures. Oh my God, is that what I think it is? Do you see that right there? That looks like vintage garbage pail cards. I'm gonna look at those, definitely. There's a Tiger Electronics Beast Wars game right there. Super cool. Some more cool stuff down here too. But I'm definitely gonna ask to see those cards. A Kermit clock or a Kermit phone. Oh, the cat in the hat one too. That's amazing. Does he work? No. That's a bummer. This looks like a Christmas area over here. That's a lot of figurines there. Some Pokemon cards there. And then more Pokemon cards. Hmm. Do I talk to you if I want to see some of the cards in the display? No worries. You take your time. There was some cards in the display in the back in the one shit. There's a watch in here that I absolutely want to look at. Oh my God. That watch right here is a Transformer. And there's also a Pokemon watch. This is crazy. So I just found this little box on the floor. It's full of like knickknacks and figurines. It's like army themed. What is this? That's kind of ridiculous. Those cards were so cool. This is another section that just has like really cool stuff. I like that spider shirt. This is new. I like that. These planes are really cool too. Popeye glasses. A ton of wrestlers. Some really, really, really cool stuff. So there is some good comics here. I have that one. That Morbius one's nice too. Spawn. Some cool stuff back here. That little troll doll's pretty neat. There you go. <laughs> That's cool. Those are in great shape. All right, let's go downstairs and see what they have. That Godzilla is so cool. I like that too. <gasps> Pokeroo. Oh my lord. Does it work? Those are actually amazing. I have Cookie Monster and Zoe at home, but I don't have Oscar or Bert or Ernie. They have the whole set. There's so much stuff. This 
is all Christmas down here. Wow. I'm looking for one of those ceramic trees. I don't see one right now. Some good stuff down here though. Two hundred and fifty car lot for fifty bucks. It's not a bad deal. Scooby, what are you doing? There's a couple of Scoobies. box for 100 is not a bad deal. Someone must have turned it. <laughs> Skeleton Warriors number one. Keep looking. This old dollhouse is unbelievable. It's so old. And everything's still there. It's only 175 bucks. That's pretty much a steal. You can get the swimming pool part. Last little bit here. 50% off of this shelf only. Last time I was here, there was something here. comic books though. Buck a piece, which is pretty good, I think. Last thing I'm gonna get is that, uh, those cups. So they had some really cool stuff in there again. I got a bunch of different stuff. I got some Fivel America or Fivel Goes West trading cards, um, the Looney Tunes mugs, uh, some comic books, which is always nice to find. So it was a really good, really good stop in there. There's so much more stuff. I desperately want to buy that Pokeroo so bad. Maybe next time. So it was another really great week of thrifting. I found a bunch of cool stuff, um, just random things that normally you don't really find while you're thrifting so much. So it was nice to find them. That's more of like yard sale items. Uh, but the Teddy Ruxpin was crazy to find. Like that's got to be one of the finds of the year. Um, so let's take a look at all the stuff. Okay, so this is everything that I found this week. And as you can see, it's filling the table. There is a ton of stuff. I guess we'll start over here with Teddy. I still got to get his mouth moving, but he's working um, with regards to the tape and the uh, eyes. Now that dollhouse is kind of neat. I've got to do a uh, battery repair on it and clean it up. And then I'm going to do a longer video on just that, like a short maybe. Uh, the Flippin' Frogs game looks fun. I've got to get it out and see if it works. And then there's just a bunch of the Dalmatians and a ton of stuffed animals. A lot of Mickey ones. Um, the Eevee's really cool. Some Fisher-Price Little People stuff. One of these cupcake dolls from the 80s, which is awesome. That's like a dollar store one for comparison. Uh, the Snails from Turbo. That Mecha Godzilla is pretty cool. The whole set of uh, Fievel American, or an American Tale, Fievel Goes West, which is pretty cool. All these Warner Brothers brand new keychains. Those are in bags at the thrift store for three bucks. Uh, some really good VHS. Labyrinth, The Wizard of Oz, The Return of the King, Sleepwalkers, and From Dust Till Dawn. And then uh, a couple good books. The Play School Flashlight. The Disney Lone Ranger and um, Silver. Uh, that works. So that's that was a pretty good find. I found it at Once Upon a Child. The comic books that I picked up, the Godzilla, Misty and uh, Ash. So like, oh, and the uh, Looney Tunes cups. So there's a bunch of good stuff. And last but not least, the Mythic Tarot. That set's complete. 
And that thing right there is like a $200 find and I paid $9.99 for it. So that is this week's thrift haul. I spent a little bit, you know, not too much, not too bad. Pretty good. Oh, also the Bugs Life magnifying glass watch. Oh, and these, all these WWE belts. So they got tag team, universal champion, and then there's two of the smaller, uh, like kids version universal champions. So that was, it was a pretty good week. I didn't spend too much. Um, honestly, the stuffed animals were great deals because they were the bags for five bucks or whatever. And then all the other stuff was kind of found on good deals. So I'm pretty happy with this week. Stay tuned for next week. I'm going to do some more thrifting as always and hopefully find some cool stuff again.